And we continue to follow that breaking news from our New Mexico mobile newsroom with both wildfires still at 0% containment. This is causing concerns and frustrations among nearby residents who were evacuated from Ridoso. Good morning, El Paso's Eliberto Perez spoke with some people about their frustrations. He joins us live with the details. Good morning to you. Good morning to you too, Rosemary. We're here again in Mescalero, New Mexico, just as yesterday. And we're here again, guys, because this is one of the few spots around Ridoso where we're actually getting some, some or decent phone and internet signal, which is one of the main concerns. Some people that we talked to yesterday still have right now. We actually, guys, made the trip up to Angus, New Mexico, a town located around two hours away from here. And actually, we saw some people and vehicles parked along the road and asked them why they were there. Most of the people mentioned that it is because it's where they could get phone reception, be in communication with their families and get updates and information on the fires. We also spoke with a resident who told us she was able to get some after being evacuated on Monday, but still has some other concern, concerns. But for me, like I said, I don't know really where the fire is and the last thing I want to do is be anywhere near it or to obstruct the health. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know everyone wants to get to and uh, Hillary Rosemary, just as Kathleen said right there, most of the people still don't really know where the fire or the fires are located. O other concerns that they have that we saw yesterday is that they were talking to New Mexico state law enforcement because they would like to learn or know the status of their properties since the roads are still blocked, as you see behind me. I'm reporting live from Escalero with our New Mexico mobile newsroom, Heriberto Perez. Good morning, El Paso. Heriberto, thank you so much for that live report.